All right, our store is starting to really take shape. We've updated the colors of the header and the footer and the text. In this video, we're going to install a quick plugin that will allow us to update some of the WooCommerce colors as well. So head over to Plugins. Let's click Add New. And let's do a search for WooCommerce colors. Remember, it's the American spelling, not the British spelling. And here it is, WooCommerce colors. Go ahead and install now. And click Activate. All right, that's all we need to do. Let's head back over to Appearance and Customize. And now we want to navigate directly to a product page and make the changes there. So I'm going to click on Clothing and T-shirts. And the Dinosaurs are Awesome T-shirt. Now let's open the correct menu. Click on WooCommerce in the Customizer and it immediately understands the context of the page you're on. So we get to set the primary color, secondary color, highlight color, content background color, and the subtext color. All right, let's go ahead and update the primary color. We're going to change that to 8224E3. Now, you want to be careful when you're starting to change these around, but experiment your heart's content because, of course, you can always just not save. The secondary color, we're not going to change that one, but we will change the highlight color. This is a color that you probably want to consider changing because as things are highlighted on the page, this is the color they'll end up being. So let's go ahead and update the highlight color to C9026F. And now you'll see that sale icon has updated to that very bright pink. Once again, you can play with this as much as you want. I'm going to click Publish. So you'll notice our pricing colors have changed as well as our Add to Cart button has changed. There's a lot of different settings that you can tweak in the customizer. There are also plenty of other plugins that add even more customization options to your WooCommerce store. Before looking for a new theme, we recommend playing with these settings to see if you can accomplish your goals with Storefront since it is the go-to theme for WooCommerce. There are over 500 themes on WordPress.org that are tagged with WooCommerce. We'll look at one of the themes that comes with WordPress as another example of a good starter theme. It's a very basic theme, and that's the 2017, the latest official theme from the WordPress team at the time of this recording. So let's go ahead over to Appearance and Themes and you'll find the 2017 theme. Let's go ahead and click Live Preview. This will be interesting. And now you'll see your store built with the 2017 theme with the customizer ready to go in order to get started with the changes you need to make. Now you'll also see right down here under that big image, of course, is your shop. As well, you can see the changes that 2017 does to the layout, the text, and the styling. Let's take a look at a single product page. And you'll see that it's actually a pretty nice layout. You've got the little magnifying glass, of course. You've got the Add to Cart button. Our sidebar widgets are still there. You can see the text has changed a little bit. But I kind of like this as well. So once again, you have just unbelievable options when it comes to all of the themes that you can use with WordPress and WooCommerce. Well, we're not going to activate and publish this. So let's just go ahead and click on the X to get out of it and we're back to where we were. If you browse through the many hundreds of free themes on WordPress.org, or if you pay for a theme from a theme store, you might come across a banner that says, your theme does not declare WooCommerce support. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. WooCommerce works so well with most themes that it probably isn't an issue. But it does mean you should double check and make sure that you can navigate through a product, cart, and checkout pages just to double check that everything still works. You can also ask the theme author if their theme supports WooCommerce or not. The best theme that we've seen is Storefront. It's the official theme from WooCommerce, it's free, and there's tons of extensions 
to make it do what you want it to do. WooCommerce should work with any theme, but it'll probably need some minor tweaks. You'll end up doing things whether it be through adding plugins, changing settings, or actually getting into some CSS to make it look differently. Since Storefront is best for Purpleville, and it's very likely best for your project, well, as I said, we're going to keep using it now. In this section of videos, we were able to customize the look and feel of our theme. It's often the first thing you'll want to do as a store owner, but we recommend doing it after your store works the way you want. That way you can preview exactly what your customers will see when they navigate your store. So the order of these videos is actually intentional. Get your products in and then customize the theme. By now, all of our colors have been selected. You can always update those down the line if you need to. So if you want to, go ahead and experiment before you move on to the next video. In the next set of videos, we're going to look at some of the extensions for WooCommerce that let you add advanced functionality to your store.